Are you ready? I'm recording. Good. Good morning, Elijah. It's good to see you here today. Morning, Mac. Morning, Dennis. How are you? <laughs> you know, it's great to be able to come back in and, and reopen our, our wor worship uh, service. Uh, we thought probably a video would be appropriate just to give everybody a, a visual of exactly what the expectation of our, our membership and what we, we want to do, all the measures we put in place to hopefully uh, have the, the confidence of all of our, our membership. Now, we've just gotten out of our, our vehicles. You see, we're, we're spaced one vehicle of, apart. Now, Elijah and I, we're going to don our mask. And we're going to show you how we'll enter into the, the building. So, Elijah will, will take the lead. We're maintaining our social distancing. See, when we get down, we get down to the walkway, we've got little blue dots. They're six foot apart. So we're going to come in and we're going to make sure that we maintain our social distancing. We also have markings out on the, uh, the concrete slab so people come in uh, from out, uh, th th this direction. Notice all of our doors. Uh, there was DHS guidance with regard to signage, and we, to the best of our ability, we marked. We only want to enter through the, the exit tower. We'll be leaving through the, the lobby uh, entrance. And for each of the doors, we'll have one door open. For instance, Elijah show is on the left door. It is open. We'll have someone here to come in and open the door. He'll open the door. He'll be wearing gloves, he or she. And then as we come into the exit tower, you'll come in and you'll approach a table. If you desire, you'll be able to come in and get hand sanitizer. There'll be someone who will be dispensing this, and they'll have a glove, gloves and mask. There, if you need a, a tissue, we have a, a tissues. We have boxes of tissues in different portions of the uh, of the, the auditorium in the, in the building. We also have a supply of masks. If you happen to get your <laughs> mask, then we we'll want to make sure that you have a mask. All but our, our smallest children. If you look around over where I'm pointing here, we have no intention of going through the. Uh, the education wing, unless it's an emergency or we have inclement weather. You'll notice we have markings on the floor at six foot intervals. We'll follow Elijah and we'll walk into the end of the lobby. Right away, you're going to see that things are going to be a little bit different. <coughs> we have the signage that's uh, been requested by DHS. We have a contribution box. You'll notice that we don't have any chairs uh, in the uh, exit tower because we want the people, once they complete their activity in the, in the uh, exit tower, to go immediately uh, into the, the auditorium, with one exception. Our exits will be over here, and we'll have uh, opportunity for hand sanitizer as well. Elijah, can you think of anything up to this point that we missed? Uh, we cannot. Uh, we appreciate everybody's patience uh, as we're all learning how to do all of these things. But we encourage you to just get familiar with the signage, the way from the entrance to the exit. Uh, Matt, what would this table serve as for us? Well, it's, it's, it's a couple of things. Uh, we have the opportunity for tissues. You'll also notice that what we want to have, we have no hands-on for contribution. We're going to do the same thing with regard to our, our communion. We have these pre-prepared a cup. They would look somewhat difficult. So if I can do this with gloves on, we hope everybody else can do it with that. But if you come in and you take the little tab, there's a little piece of cellophane right on the top. If you'll take this piece of cellophane and you'll just gently pull it off, that exposes the wafer. And then you'll be able to come in and partake with the wafer. Wafer. Now, pardon me for, for laying it down. Here comes to the part that takes a little bit more dexterity. I found if you hold on the top the lip, this is what I'm trying to explain, on the top, and you come in and you gently pull back, you don't want to hold on the sides, or you will get a faceful. 
You come in and you open, you gently pull out the side. You're able to come in and then you're able to partake of, of the cup. So you've got both elements. Now when you complete this after the service, you're gonna find we have trash cans at all of our entrances. So we'd like to come in and make sure you dispose of all of these. <laughs> any, anything you have, any tissues, the elements for the uh, communion. You'll notice if you look over to the side, we have signs that say the drinking fountains are uh, off limits. At the same time, all of our restrooms have signs that says we limit the number of people that are there. So try to limit the amount of time. Come in and be very respectful. Make sure you wash your hands when you complete the activity and you come in and immediately go into the auditorium. So Elijah, if you'll lead on. Continue to notice that we have the blue markers. Excellent point, Elijah. And you'll see we have a blue mark going down all the different aisles here. Alternate rows will have a white rope. These are places that you should, shouldn't sit. Also, if we have certain seats that we think that are gonna be closer than uh, six foot, we've marked those as off limits as well. And you say, well, we really reduced it down. We have at least 130 opportunities for people to sit and we're capping out our uh, attendance requested at 75. We would ask that for all of our families that you would sit together uh, in family units and I also know that with us, uh, for those of us that have little ones, that it would be easy to uh, allow them to, uh, to want to visit with each other. But we are asking for our moms and our dads to be especially mindful with your little ones as we're trying to limit the contact inside the building uh, for their well-being, your well-being, and the well-being of others. So we're using gloves for demonstration purposes, but during our services, if you want to wear gloves, that's fine. But masks are, are something that we do request everyone. We're going to move to the front, and then I want to illustrate a few other uh, activities here. Could you show everyone that we have no hymnals or Oh, that's a, that's a good one. All of the back pockets have been emptied, cleaned. There's nothing here. There are no items. And between each service, we have a cleaning crew that will be coming in and cleaning to make sure it's sanitized and prepared and ready for the next service. Because we'll be streaming, you'll be able to see when you get in, we've got some new cameras, things that have been uh, incorporated into the, the building so we can complete that activity. The only people who we would say to come in and not wear masks are the people that are gonna be coming in and actually managing or handling our worship uh, service. Everybody else that we would request that you would come in and make sure that you continue to wear that. And you say, well, that's gonna make singing somewhat difficult. Well, yes, it may make it a little more difficult, <laughs> but remember, this is our first Sunday. We may be able to modify things as we go forward and we're coming in and learning and we'll, we may make, make a few mistakes, but we'll come in and we'll learn together and hopefully we can gradually come in and reduce the types of restrictions or measures that we have. So we're asking everybody to come into the auditorium, take a seat. You can fellowship to your heart's content. We do ask that everyone arrive early, that you can arrive early, that you can come in. So remember the 1030 service, especially we'll need to start that at 1030 so we can come in and do our, our live streaming uh, act, activity. That will be the only service that will be live streamed, at least what we have intent for right now. When the service is over, I or the, the EOD for the particular month will come in and will dismiss the congregation by sections. As an example, over to my, my right, they, this aisle over here will be using the exit going out the front of the building. There'll be someone there that'll be opening the door. There is a, a sanitizing station there with hand sanitizer. They will be able to go out this and you can go out into the parking lot and resume, resume your fellowship. Thank you, Elijah. Over on this side, we'll ask everybody to go out through the, the rear uh, entrance. Then once those, that's been completed, this section here to my right, your left, they will ask them to go once again out the front. This section over here, we'll ask to go out the, the, the back. When you get into the uh, uh, lobby there, there will be a station there for the hand sanitizer. Someone will open the door. Once you get outside of the building, 
please uh, fellowship to your heart and heart's content. We would like to vacate the, uh, the auditorium in a very uh, timely uh, fashion, and we appreciate your efforts in helping us. We know there will probably be uh, questions, things that we've not uh, covered, but hopefully this will give you an idea, an idea of exactly what we, we have intent for all of the measures that we've put in place. Elijah, no doubt I've, I've forgotten a, a, a few points. Go ahead and uh, if you want to come up and make, make any comments there that you think I've forgotten, please do so. I appreciate it very much. Thank you uh, for being patient with us and our elders as they have uh, created a plan for us to be able to regather together on this upcoming Sunday. Just a few reminders again, as you exit, uh, only exit through the lobby. We don't want to go through the education wing. Uh, that is only going to be used for inclement weather. As a, also a reminder, I know that we have it uh, marked off there. Uh, if you can, please don't go downstairs to the uh, fellowship room. Uh, we're trying to keep that as for uh, something else, and we want to keep that off limits. Uh, if there is something you need, please feel free to ask us. We'll be more than happy to help in any way that we can. Uh, as we uh, close this video out, I uh, want to express again the appreciation uh, for you, to you, uh, for all the patience that you're exhibiting. I encourage every, all of us to continue to love one another, uh, to practice uh, for ourselves, the social distancing for ourselves and for each other. Let's continue to be patient and understanding. And I know that we are excited, Lord willing, for this upcoming Sunday. And I know that many of us uh, are looking forward to being able to gather together. So again, just a few reminders as you exit uh, in either place. We want to try to limit the fellowship here inside the building so that the cleaning team can come in and sanitize. But once you get outside, you are more than welcome to fellowship and to encourage each other. Thank you so much for everything that you're continuing to do. If you have any questions, please reach out to me, reach out to the elders. We'll be more than happy to answer and help. Until we see you again, I hope that you have a great day.